A timeless art, born from times of explosions and gunfire. A place to call home, a place to be safe and free. Free to heal from the wounds of war, to start over, to create beautiful things that bring joy to others, to find and explore inner gifts. This is the story of Anne. I'm Alexi Panos. I love working as a model and TV host, but when I'm not here on set, I live a completely different life. We are turning extreme situations into extraordinary results. Our mission is to innovate, renovate, and elevate the lives of people in need. This is Operation Build. Twelve years ago, these gentle hands weren't creating delicate flowers made of sugar and butter. They were wielding a semi-automatic rifle. Sergeant Ann Orovec was part of the 855th Military Police Unit in Fallujah, Iraq. Her mission? To provide security for a large convoy. Then, an explosion under her armored vehicle changed her world forever. From the explosion, um, from the shrapnel of the explosion, it knocked me out and my eardrums burst. And it was really odd because I was seeing red because there was so much blood in my face. And I heard my, my gunner firing back and about that point I realized what had happened. So then they medevaced us out right away into Baghdad Hospital. She was able to rejoin her unit, but things were very different then for Anne. And they told me I had a brain injury, but I'd be fine. Right away I noticed a lot of changes in me. Um, I had this constant headache, which I've never had headaches before. But I was having some speaking problems and some memory issues. I was having a lot of cognitive issues. I couldn't think straight, I couldn't focus, I was losing my words. Um, um, I got really depressed and angry. And actually, at one point, I became suicidal. Anne didn't feel up to working full time for a while, but she needed an outlet for her energy and her creativity. So she started baking and decorating cakes. Eventually, she moved from Arizona to Boulder, Colorado to attend culinary school. Um, actually, it kind of started out as part of recovery. Um, I was dealing with a lot of pain from migraines and some PTSD issues, and I needed something, I just needed an outlet. Um, so I started decorating cakes for fun and started baking, and um, when I moved to Colorado, I sought out a pastry school and just fell in love with it, you know, using a different side of my brain than I'm used to. And... Anne wanted to do something charitable, so she went looking to volunteer. She wound up at Habitat for Humanity, donating homemade cupcakes for the workers. There, she found out about a program called Homes Hi, for Our Troops. <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. This is my home. Oh, great. It's beautiful. Thank you. This is my living room. I love it. Well, Anne um, was injured in Iraq, so she is uh, just has been an inspiration for a lot of people. So to bring her on board into this program was really just a great thing for us, I think. It, it really benefited us more than probably she knows. So when she uh, applied to our program, we were at a point where we were giving away some foreclosed homes through some of the banks and Anne applied and we were able to provide her with this home mortgage free. You know, it's, it's actually been such a blessing. Um, I would have never imagined having a, a home mortgage-free. It's taken so much stress off. It's actually, it's really humbling knowing that complete strangers are, are willing to do all this work for me. And it's taken off so much stress financially and I can just really focus on my health and try and open my bakery. Um, she's always been um, 
very good about pursuing things that she's interested in and um, has always been very ambitious. And so when she called and told me about it, I thought, I know she will follow through on this Homes for Our Troops program because it was something she was so excited about when she called me. I just couldn't believe it. Today, Anne lives just outside Denver, operating a small catering business specializing in cakes, pastries, and other desserts. She dreams of renting her own space in town and starting her own bakery. Meanwhile, her little brother, in the Air Force, receives regular shipments of Anne's goodies. On this day, Anne's mom has come to visit. It's a time to reconnect and to talk about anything anything but the painful past. Mostly about a promising future. But Anne's new home needs some improvement. Operation Build I'm Coming Home is here to make this house more livable and more beautiful. And before we're done, we're going to give Anne's dreams of owning her own bakery a boost. It's been great getting to know Anne one of our honored veterans of the Iraq War, and to see how well she is adjusted to civilian life. Anne was provided her beautiful home just outside Denver from the privately funded nonprofit group called Homes for Our Troops. Now Operation Build I'm Coming Home is here to make her home more stylish and more comfortable. While Anne's away for the day, we brought in the crews to get the job done. Keith Jehola is here from ODL, a company which makes retractable screen doors, add-on blinds, and decorative glass for doors. Keith, this door looks amazing. Why did you choose this for her home? Well, we wanted to complement the style of her home, and we wanted to add curb appeal to this home. This aesthetic appeal improves the performance of the energy and also the value of the home by four to six percent. Wow, wait, let's talk about the energy efficiency. What's sure. that look like? Well, before she had a six panel steel door, mm -hmm. adding this insulated piece of glass improves the energy performance by 20 to 25 percent. Wow, and it looks amazing too. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's one thing I have to say, just being outside and seeing it from the front, the whole impact it makes on the house is beautiful. Absolutely. Decorative glass like this, it's a personal expression of style, mm -hmm. it's curb appeal, it's safety, it's security. Yeah, and it also brings in a lot of natural light too, which is beautiful. Absolutely. So how did this whole thing come together? Well, what we did is we took Anne's existing door, which is a six panel steel door, and we cut out enough room for the insert. So we cut out about a 23 by 65 inch hole that made enough room for this decorative door glass insert. That's amazing. And then the back door, let's talk about that because that is so cool. Absolutely. I've actually walked into a screen door myself. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> right. It's, it's amazing. So tell me about the process of that. Well, the screen on the back is our Brisa screen. Mm -hmm. And Brisa is a fresh approach to fresh air in the home. Mm -hmm. It's a retractable screen, so it's there when you need it, but out of sight when you don't need it. You can't walk into it and knock it off the hinges. It's good news for me. Secure in place. <laughs> Um, it has visibility strips to prevent that, mm -hmm. but it also allows fresh air in without allowing in dust, dirt, insects, anything like that. So what other products does ODL offer? Well, another product we offer that's great is a tubular skylight. Mm. Tubular skylight sits on the roof of your home, looks like a can light on the inside, and provides natural light inside the home. It's a really unique product. There's a dome on the roof that concentrates the light down that tube, reflecting it into the home. You can get 150 to 300 watts out of a tube. Wow, and it's really great to have natural light in the home. Absolutely, natural light is fantastic. These new doors are having a huge impact on how this house looks, and they're adding energy efficiency. This is the ODL manufacturing plant in Zeeland, Michigan. It's where Anne's beautiful glass and wrought iron door insert was made, along with her retractable screen door. We visited CEO Jeff Mulder to talk about the company's commitment to community service and giving back to those in need. One way I define it is making things just a little bit easier. And whether that's easier for our employees if we have a tough time, or in this particular case, easier for Anne as she comes home, and do we have things that can make her house more beautiful or more safe or more accessible? We can't fix things that have happened in the past, but can we make things going forward just a little easier? We 
We've also got a donation from Schley Glocks. So for the interior doors, we've chosen handles with a satiny nickel finish. I can just picture Anne in her kitchen making treats for family and friends, and I'm sure her brother, still serving in Iraq, will appreciate getting a few of them. I have told Anne-Marie so many times that she has turned out to be more than I ever dreamt she would be. I am just really just, I'm just so happy. <laughs> well, it's finally time to bring our distinguished veteran, Anne Orbeck, home to see what our Operation Build and Homes for Our Troops crews have done here. What an amazing day. Anne's friends and more volunteers from Homes for Our Troops are here for the occasion. Thank you for being so good to my daughter, really. Aww. <laughs> long road. We've had a great time getting to know Anne and the folks from ODL, Lennox, Restaurant Depot, and of course, a very special thank you to Homes for Our Troops. On behalf of Operation Build, I'm coming home. We want to thank each one of them for their commitment to helping our veterans gain the freedom and independence they need to rebuild their lives. Thank, thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> And thank you for watching. As always, if you know anyone who's in need, whether recovering from a natural disaster or any negative life circumstance, we hope you'll email us. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Operation Build and our I'm Coming Home series are ready to take every Mission Impossible to mission complete. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos.